and good morning guys oh my gosh i literally just woke up i haven't put any makeup on all i did was just wash my face and i use the tatcha's dewy skin routine that i am trying out and also i just bought the ola henriksen um the orange skin routine that they have and apparently it is the best selling thing at sephora so i do want to try it out because lately for some reason it's turning spring and underneath my eyes has been super super dry as you guys can see this is my front door right here and it's really really dirty right now i do have like a pile of trash right there my purse my coffee that i'm drinking right now in the back right there so i found the perfect coffee to make and it's very simple and easy to use all i used was the duncan pre-made coffee that you can get from your grocery store i get mine from walmart and then i just use a french vanilla flavoring creamer i think it's the delight one that's what it's called and that's it i don't put any more sugar inside of it because the creamer already has enough sugar inside of it so it literally tastes just like dunkin donuts because i've been using a lot of the keurig cups and apparently those are not really that good so i might want to get an espresso machine and then you can see there's like a whole bunch of mess, an old Sephora bag, and then my pods, my uh, ear pods for the Samsung, and I do have an Android. I don't like to go with iPhones, but this is like my old pillows that I have, and I do got a lot of stuff from Amazon, TJ Maxx, Home Goods. This is what I'm going to use to decorate my room, my bed, and of course, I want to have a little bit of touch of Easter stuff slash pastel colors. This is like a bat, well not a bag, a blanket that I got from, I think, uh, either TJ Maxx or Home Goods. But this is just with the bunny prints all over it. And then I was going to decorate my shelves with these fake vines that I got from Marshalls. And I also have a fake plant in there. And then I need to mount my TV on my wall because I've been living in this home for about a year now. Well, a little bit more than a year, about a year and a month or two. But I haven't mounted my TV on the wall. Technically, you're not supposed to put any holes in your walls, but I still do it. And then I know for sure that before I move out of this house, I'm going to cover up all the holes that I have in the walls. And then I have this down alternative microfiber comforter. It's a queen size for the bed. This right here is some floating shelves. I got this from Burlington and it was $12.99. And I'm going to put this on the wall along with this painting I have behind here. It's a painting of a beach with some pompous showing in the front and I also got some command strips to hang some stuff on the wall hopefully it is strong enough to hang up my painting that I have on the wall like I said I can't put any holes in my walls because of course I live in an apartment but right now I am saving up for a house and I'm hoping and praying to God I can move into a house by next year and hopefully it could be a brand new built-in house so my theme for this master bedroom has to be something neutral, something that me and my husband will both enjoy. So I am going for like a boho beach kind of look, something that's not girly or too girly, but you know, neutral with neutral colors. So I was going to go for like a blue color with some neutral colors of the sea turtle i definitely always wanted to have a beach house but not right now and also got me a comforter set off of amazon this is just a i think they call it a duvet cover apparently you're supposed to put that comforter that i have over there inside of this duvet cover which is just like a cover for like a blanket i never really thought what exactly that was but apparently it's just a cover for a blanket and then it also comes with two pillow covers too and i will show you guys at the end of what my whole entire room like you guys will go with me through the process as you guys can see that i have pillows i got that at i believe it is home goods these pillows 
guys i never thought pillows could be this expensive i believe this one right here is like 20 dollars, and like the bigger one the bigger blue one was like 30 dollars. this one was like 20 and then guys this i got this from home goods all of this this is just nothing but makeup organizer I do have a vanity coming in and it is the vanity of my dreams because right now they are doing a sale. I got my vanity from Impressions Vanity and it's apparently it's like I think like 50 maybe 60 percent on sale. I'm not for sure exactly but their website literally is almost sold out like almost everything is sold out on there. And then I got some picture friends. I do want to put some pictures up on the wall on the floating shelves that I got right here I think I might need to go back to the store and buy more floating shelves hopefully I can find the same set if not I'm going to try and find something maybe close to it or maybe I'm just going to combine maybe a different color with this not like one side will be like a neutral color and the other side might be black I'm not for sure exactly but this is what my room looks like. As you guys can see, I have my perfume collection right there. I think I might be moving that to over there where I'm going to have my makeup vanity because this is what it looks like, guys. My whole entire one side of the room. This is my makeup vanity. This was my before makeup vanity. Uh, the reason why I put this here is because I needed a lot of base i needed all of this right here hi guys as you can see so i need all of this space. this is literally enough space for me to do my makeup this is like one one time using i literally just cleaned it up yesterday and this is what it looks like afterwards i was doing all my makeup and this is my chair i'm going to keep my chair my life of course my makeup brushes on my tv of course my tv is going to be in the same spot but it's going to go all the way up there and i'm literally going to have nothing underneath tv because my room feels cluttered cluttered I noticed that some pictures on Pinterest don't have side tables because I was looking for ideas on Pinterest. Some of them don't have side tables and they look really cute. Some of them have like plants, but the thing is, it's very convenient for me to have the small little tables on the side of the bed because it can hold like candles or if I want to charge my cell phone or have a cup of coffee next to me in bed or whatever I need to put. And then also I have uh, Evie's bed underneath right there but she doesn't really lay there. If you can see right here, this is my mattress. I got this mattress off of Amazon and apparently it is way too soft for me. I might be getting rid of it. This whole entire mattress bed thing will be probably the last resort I will have in this vlog to change. But as of right now, I'm just going to put a bed sheet over it and then just set up the whole comforter thing. I do have a set of two pillows coming in. So I'm going to put that in this vlog too. So you guys can see what kind of pillows I got, what kind of comforter I got. memory foam pillow i got this at bed bath and beyond it was 80 bucks and then i bought this i think it's silk silk pillowcase from bed bath and beyond for 15 bucks and guys it is worth it having a memory foam pillow this is what the painting looks like as you guys can see which is you see the beach you see the sand and then the sky and you see the pompous growing across i do have pompous that i have in that i put in my kitchen just for now it is going definitely in my room so i need to move the real pompous into my room instead of the kitchen Guys, I have never ever used command strips before, but I've heard so many good things about it. Apparently, it holds 16 pounds worth of stuff. And it says up to 24 inches by 36 inches. Is it just with, it says six large pairs, but am I supposed to put six large pairs on one painting? Or can I just use one and then it will hold up? It says damage free, free hanging, hold strongly, removes clearly. I don't know. I don't know what size this painting is. 
Guys, as you can see, I have that. I literally had trouble hanging that up because I thought I was only supposed to use one strip, but apparently you have to use two strips in order for it to work, and I didn't really know that, and I didn't read instructions. I thought it was just one strip. You just put it on the painting, and then that's it. it I thought it was like double-sided, but it's not. So I literally had to put it on there, wait 30 seconds, that's what it says, and then it is six. Um, I don't have any rubbing alcohol. Apparently, it's been selling out like hotcakes, so I haven't got a chance to get any alcohol, but it still stand up. And uh, I mean, if it comes down, it's not made of glass or anything, so it's not going to break. I hope not. I pray to God it don't. Wow. That pillow is massive, oh my gosh. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do after I got done doing my pillows, my painting, I got this and I definitely need to hang this up and I definitely want to hang it up right over there. Oh my god guys oh my god oh okay so so far what I have done is you guys can see that that right there took me about an hour to do an hour to do to put those shelves up because first I was trying to do the command strips and then I was doing exactly what it says on the command strips but for some apparent reason that they're not staying up with the command strips which I just don't want to say, I thought command strips can go on almost anything. And these are just kind of like wood, kind of like plastic shelves or whatever. So I thought, I was like, okay, so command strips can go on almost anything, I guess. So maybe it could go on those shelves. But I had to take those command strips off because they were working terribly for me. And I'm hoping and praying to God that those shelves do not come down because I have a glass right there this one right here a glass with all the pompous that i have and then this right here took like about the same time about an hour to do that painting right over there and i did the instructions what i said clean the walls with rubbing alcohol and then put it up and then t slowly take it off but the painting right here was really super hard to get on the wall. So I this is like literally my third time using the command strip on the painting. And so the third time, this time right over here, I had to leave the painting on there and not take it off. Because if I take this painting off, just like I did the second time, it would literally like the whole thing would just fall down. So I'm definitely not going to take it off. I'm just going to leave it on there, even though the instructions did say take it off and then put it back on within an hour. That No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to keep it up there right where it's at. And it makes my whole entire room look very pretty i'm still in the process of doing it i still gotta do the corner over there clean up that area and then i gotta clean up the area over here i still have like a trash bag right there i need to put that rubbing alcohol away and i got some picture frames i was gonna put these picture frames up there on the shelves i don't want to put nothing else up there because it will definitely fall down and i have let me show you guys so, okay, I have this comforter set that I bought off of Amazon. And as you guys can see, the pillows that I put right there, I have two more pillows coming in right now, literally right now. It said that it was five stops away from me. And this is what my comforter set looked like, which is like a neutral beige color. And I bought the comforter is inside there. So basically, this right here is a duvet cover. And it is is really cute i love this detailing of the bow right there as you guys can see you can connect the comforter with the duvet cover i didn't know that so this is something really new for me i really just stick to just getting like walmart kind of a comforter set with the whole thing but i wanted to go out something a little bit more better not too bougie but a little bit better and i also have a little touch of you know my easter blanket 
little something, you know, for me to put on when it's really hot in the house. I definitely don't want to turn the AC down because the weather here in Florida is just really crazy. And it also comes with pillow cover cases in which I'm, I'm going to put this on when the pillow arrives soon. And guys, I still got this whole entire vanity right here. I am going to clean it up, organize it as much as possible, and then I need to find a place to put everything that I have under here somewhere else and guys <laughs> so I set up my TV right here this took about two and a half hours to do guys this is my second time installing a TV onto the wall and I had a hard difficult time doing it and I set it up a little bit too high to the point where the power cord could not reach the outlet right here so I had to use an extender to extend it but I want to get rid of the Christmas lights that I use to kind of light up my room when I'm in the mood so I thought about getting maybe some LED lights I'm not for sure but I definitely do want some kind of little lights in here that will spread around the whole entire room instead of just getting lamps because I do have one lamp right there but I'm not really a fan of that lamp it doesn't really look nice so I think I might get some small lamps and put it on the sides I'm not really for sure by the way guys I still have my Valentine's Day candle and it smells great but I also have other candles too from like TJ Maxx or like Marshall's so I gotta literally clean up some more and as you guys can see I still have the perfume set up here I'm gonna move it to the other side as soon as I get done cleaning the other side so that is what is happening so far with half of the room transformation and I'll see you guys the next day okay final room tour of the whole entire bedroom makeover so on my left I have my bathroom and there's not really a difference that I did to my bathroom but I do have this small little itty bitty counter and to remind you guys that I do live in an apartment and I really don't like living in this apartment because one the counter space in this bathroom is really outdated and it's super small but I did bought that toothpaste dispenser off of Shein for maybe a like six bucks so that's definitely a lifesaver right there and then I got that floating shelf from Burlington and that was maybe like 13 14 bucks and that's really a lifesaver because guys I can't really fit much in on top of that countertop space like literally you can't put nothing right here and me and my fiance are always fighting over countertop space in the bathroom so I literally got super excited and I thought about a brilliant idea to put that floating shelf right there when I look up you have the TV right there I used to have a TV on top of my Ikea desk that I have over there but um it wasn't giving me enough space so I'm trying to use as much space as I can on the walls and this right here guys let me start you off right here so right here I have a picture frame in which there's nothing in it I'm going to put our wedding pictures in it hopefully we can this June put these floating shelves up I got the floating shelves from Burlington and you know Burlington is not really that expensive but guys, I had a hard time putting these floating shelves up and I first used command strips because I heard so many people talk about command strips. I don't understand about command strips. They were really difficult to use. So I got these vines at, I believe, Marshall's and so I just put some vines up on the floating shelves. I got that small little shelves bottle from Dollar Tree which is a perfect fit for the whole entire theme because the thing that I'm going for is like a beachy kind of boho look a little bit more like beachy but like a neutral color where both me and my husband do enjoy and then of course I got the pompous grass with the small clear vase I got that vase at Dollar Tree surprisingly that I Literally found a couple things that I really, really needed for my house from Dollar Tree. And I got that pompous beach sea photo frame from 
Marshalls. And guys, I, this is exactly what I was looking for. And I got very lucky because this was behind three more other paintings and it was the last one. I got very lucky, I got super happy and I quickly immediately grabbed that painting before anybody else could get it. And of course I have my perfume collection over there. That's definitely something I don't want to get rid of just yet because I'm not for sure exactly what I'm gonna put on that side. I definitely don't want to hang any, no, nothing else on the walls because it literally all this, the painting and the floating shelves took me a very long time to actually really do. So this is the bed right here. I'm still waiting for the headboard to come in, but they're giving me difficulties to get the headboard on Amazon. So I might get my refund back soon for the headboard, but I will update and let you guys know if it really does or not, or if I'm getting actually a headboard. But I got these pillows from Marshalls, TJ Maxx, or Home Goods. Most of my stuff is from those three locations. This right here is a memory foam pillow, guys. And oh my gosh, I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. I spent 80 bucks on a king size memory foam pillow and it is worth it. Here I have the cat tower. I have my small little beauty studio right here in the room. I have nowhere else to put it, so I had to put it in the master bedroom. Plus, this was the only place that gets the best lighting and Guys, this, if you don't know what this is, I posted it on my TikTok, my Instagram. This right here is the Impression Vanity Desk. Guys, they had a major, major sale and I was so excited and I could not just not, you know, use the sale. So I had to. This right here is a clear top and oh my gosh, guys, there is a major difference from getting the one at Ikea, the Alex drawers. And of course, I kept my Alex drawers. This impression of vanity desk took me one full day and a half to get it. The reason why it took me one and a half day to do it is one, these drawers literally took one full day. Literally, I was... A little bit confused but it was more of the screws that I had to put and there were so many screws into this it doesn't look like it but it is and I got the top part of the impression of vanity the next day so this the top part only took half of a day to do because I spent so much money on it I spent almost I think 600 and that's including the sale that was going on i was being very ultra careful uh putting where the screws were where the glue should supposed to be so i invested in this impression vanity and plus i didn't get the one with the mirror because if i did get the one with the mirror i wouldn't be able to put no cell phone holder on there or any type of camera equipment or any type of lights behind the desk so I had to not get the one with the mirror but you do get a choice if you can get the mirror later on if you want but right now I am not going to get it and I believe maybe it's like $300 more probably I think but this right here is my old Alex Ikea drawer these two top drawers I still need to work on so it has like junk inside of it but then the first drawer right here technically I'm going to reach for is like my primers and then my foundations and then the next one is just blank translucent powders I'm going to put more stuff I'm still working on it and this is like a blush, bronzer, highlighter, and then so forth and so forth that I keep going down. And then of course I have like a small little stash of snacks when I have those cravings sometimes for good sweet things. And of course we got the sweet little innocent Evie. Oh, I sweet. Ever since I got this comforter guys, she has been sleeping with me constantly all day and night and then of course this is the perfume collection and I was going to put this on the floating shelves over there but I'm scared that the floating shelves will literally fall off so I don't want to put nothing else on there so I just left it right here then I got this 
little decor from I believe Burlington got some candles and then I got some pictures down there which I don't really want to show you guys because one of them includes my boy when he was just a newborn and I had to have a little touch of something else in the room of course Easter just passed but I love the pastel colors I love the bunnies on there and then I got this chair from amazon i believe it was maybe like 60 70 bucks for the pink chair but it is all worth it but the thing is if you love this whole entire master bedroom makeover please give it a thumbs up also comment down below what your guys room theme looks like mine is more like a beach kind of boho room a little bit but more like a beach kind of look so i always wanted to live on the beach and always wanted to have the most beautiful beachy house but more like modern beachy house you know what i'm saying so <laughs> i'll see you guys on my next video and i hope you guys will love this new master updated bedroom tour i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys Mwah.